Today, I'm going to be challenging top producers to make difficult genres. And to make this fair, I've put the hardest genres in a spin the wheel. Let's spin and see what we get. We've got five genres here. Techno, big room, trance, drum and bass. And then I threw in like a completely random one with heavy metal. That's a mad one. Do we have to do vocals for that as well? Just They're all pretty mad. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Jay, you got you up first, yeah? Why not, man? Let's do it. Heavy metal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! Heavy metal. <laughs> oh my god. It'll be a challenge, man. Definitely. Who who wants to go next? I'll go next. Give me some of that trance. Ooh. Techno. Techno. Ooh. Hello. That's a good one. That's not bad. I'll take that. Out of these, I don't want big room. That's going to take forever. Ooh. I think now that you said it, it's going to be a big room. Nah. Trance. Trans. I'm cool with that. That should be fun. Give me big room. I want big room now. Yeah. Ooh, drum and bass. All right. Drum and bass. Okay. So, we got to make a trance track. Where do we even begin? I think for this vibe, I'm going to try something very uplifting and euphoric. I feel like when you hear trance songs, you're meant to feel like hopeful and inspired. It gives me that kind of feeling. So let's start with the bass notes. I think we've got a very nice foundation there. Sounds quite dreamy. Uh, okay. We spun on that drum and bass, so, uh, yep. I never made chill drum and bass, so I want to give that a try. Good start, good start. So yeah, guess we're making heavy metal today. I've never made heavy metal before. We're just gonna have to experiment, man, and see what happens. Obviously, we need an electric guitar. See if they've got some sort of rock preset. Yeah, there we go. Something like this. So today we're going to be making some techno. I'm quite excited actually because this is a whole new world for me. I've never ever made techno before. I have no idea what it even sounds like. Boom, 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 boom. 140-ish. That sounds like a good kick. Yeah, sounds good. And with those chords as well, I'm just going to duplicate it down and take those bottom notes to make the bass line underneath it. I like that. It's just like a deep sub, but let's just raise it up an octave. Mm. That's sounding crazy already. I think we need like a lead or something. And then at the end here, I feel like it could be like a build up leading into the second section. I'll take it. Okay. We need some kind of sound. I was thinking like a lot of like e piano vibey vibes. I think if I remember right, there's a lot of power chords. Let's make it faster. I don't really know what I'm doing here. All right, but from here, I don't really know where to go from here. Before I add the lead, let's try some guitar rig. Now I'm gonna try and think of some sort of lead. Yeah, this could work. some sort of drum beat down to just give me that inspiration. Oh God, what do I start with here? God, I don't know. Let's replace this for like a serum. Oh, I'm so not confident with this. Oh, it's not off to a good start, boys. Let's add in the drums. Now we've got that down, I think one of the key things with these kind of tracks, you need like a rolling bass, so it's like boom, 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 All right, we're getting somewhere. 
I think that would be cool in the background. So I like to put Transient Master on it. Just play around. So now it's a lot sharper. It's almost like the reverb has gone. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Bass, what's the bass? Maybe just a sub. What if I just did that? Ah, uh, maybe some kind of plucky, bubbly, plucky arpeggio. I, I made this too confusing myself. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm there with the melody. I'm gonna start adding in some drums and then I'll see if I can think of anything else. I might cheat a bit, kinda cheat anyway, and use arcade. I'm just looking for any sort of texture. Try some phrases. That's the one. I think I might just start working on the drop, to be honest. This is... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now I need a bass. Nah, this is not sounding good. Actually, maybe it would be easier to start with the drop. Oh God, how's this gonna... I wanted to see how it transitions real quick. It's gonna make me laugh. <laughs> so I found this crazy sound in Serum. It's like a neat sound, very airy. Now this is sounding like an anthem. Jeez. I think we need some vocal chops in here. Something, you know, super ambient, super airy. And I'm gonna record something myself. I've been playing around with like AI vocals recently and it's such a cheat code, it comes in clutch. So let me record a little something in. Don't watch my vocals, I'm definitely not a singer. Love is Your love is what I need With you, I feel complete Man, with those kind of like cheesy lyrics Even like little vocal chops Perfect, perfect, perfect Alright, you know what, instead of adding to this, I think we just need to structure it. I've also brought the BPM down to 125 because I didn't know if the last one was too fast for heavy metal. And then with the bass, I think we just follow that pattern as well. What about the phrases here? And then we could start introducing some drums, I think. I think get rid of the snare, even the kick. Just gonna ruin it. It might. Yes! I fall for it every time. Say. Oh, I like that. I like that. Say you love me. Try a little sound shift on the master. Oh yes, that's the vocal right there. The platform that I'm gonna be using to transform my vocals into something that sounds like an actual singer, because I'm really not is musicfire.lol and they're also the sponsor of today's video this is an amazing platform when it comes to ai vocals it's as easy as uploading your file so let's go to convert voice so all you got to do is upload your audio file 
and then you can go ahead and browse all the voices. They got famous people on here like Juice World. If I never get a chance to say sorry. And I can't lie, it sounds really, really clean. I want to go for a female. It has to be a female vocal. Let's try Billie Eilish. We can try Eleanor. I want to go for electronic. We'll try to go for this character right here. And then let's generate. So we've got the vocals. Let's check it out. Your love is... What I need. Jeez, that sounds way better than what I was doing. Love is in the air. Mm. Ooh, ooh. That's nice. I think the better singer you are, the cleaner it will definitely be. But let's take these vocals. I'm feeling them. Aside from using vocals as well, you can just transform them into instruments and then put the instruments in your door. Let's try the electric guitar and we'll try a few more, maybe like a... Um, that's interesting. A shenaya, a shenayi. We'll put that in there. We put a duduk in there and a the piano. So from my voice recording, now it's turned it into an electric guitar. I'm really keen to hear what this one sounds like. The shen. How do you even say that? Okay, that sounds crazy. It sounds like a buzzing sound. Let's go for the piano. So as you can see, this is a really, really clutch and powerful tool. I can't sing. Me being able to sing and then put it into someone else's voice is super invaluable. I don't need to call a vocalist. Definitely check out musicfire.lol. It's going to come in clutch for your production. Let's structure this out a bit. Then introduce something here. What if I just trim the end off here? I need some more melodies in this. I do need to start looking at this drop now because it's kind of the most important part of the whole thing. I need that really catchy lead. I think I need more percussion and I need cooler bass sounds. Oh wait, no, this is way better. God, I just can't do this, man. I can't freaking find a lead. Okay, so we've got a nice pluck, we've got a nice re space. What about a sub bass? Right, the vocal now, we need to address the vocal. There we go, intro. I'm just gonna eat through it slightly. And also a little bit of auto-tune. Not that Billie Eilish sounds bad, but my vocals. It's not it. Now I feel like in these trance songs, it always comes to a bit where there's a breakdown and there's like a really dreamy piano. So I think we should add that in. It's insane. I've got the foundation down for the track, but I think where it really comes alive is in the arrangement with like the sweeps and the transitions and the automations and stuff. So I'm gonna spend some time doing that now. I've ranged out the track a little bit to make certain parts a little bit more impactful. I'm just gonna add some automations. So as it gets to the end. Also added in this snare drop. I don't want it playing throughout the whole thing. That's going to sound too crazy. I actually want the volume to just gradually get louder. Like, 
like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 30 seconds. Is that enough? I think that's good. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. Chords are kind of catchy. And I really like the phrases. You know what? It's not too bad, you know. I don't know if it's actually heavy metal, but let me know in the comments. But the drums are kind of sick. So, Ocean, appreciate you having me on the channel, man, and hopefully you guys are feeling it. It's getting intense. All right, let's hear this through. I think this is sounding really cool, though. So, let's see. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed that. And that was me making techno, man. That was crazy. Making this track, I can't lie. Kind of challenging, quite a tough one. There's definitely a lot more detail that goes into it. it. Took me way longer than it would take me to make a track or a draw beat. Let's check it out. And then the first drop. And I added in some of those acid effects as well. And then yeah, this is the bit that goes off. If you enjoyed my track, then hit that thumbs up button. A big shout out to Simon, Jay and Jack. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, check out this one right here, where I invited three of the best producers that I know, they're all platinum producers, to collab and make a beat with me. And it turned out incredible.